All right, so this is gonna be a real special video. I'm gonna talk to you guys about things that go in my mind when I look at my tank or whatever. So here are my polyps. I got my Rastas and my little Shapahorizoas. And I do see the little cyano, possible dino growing. More than likely it's cyano. I could tell because the, the dino is not, uh, has that droopy looking thing. And at the same time, um, I'm going to look through it through a microscope, but it doesn't look like dinos. And if it's cyano, I'm not too worried about it. And to compensate, I am going to throw my little hermit crab in there, all right, just to stir shit up. And then another thing that's going through my mind is this guy. He's not fully extended, so I'm wondering if it's either the alkalinity or because I did huge water changes. And honestly, right now, he looks pretty good. <laughs> and one, to me, that's going through my mind is he's either dividing, there's something in the water, or the dino, or some microbial life is irritating him. But he's definitely not extending, or as fully as before. And then, if I'm looking at, there's a small section in here. Let me take this off. Ah, hold on, guys. As soon as I press pause, it opened up. All right. Uh, so there's a small section right there that's kind of bleaching out. So I, ever since I picked up the intensity, it hasn't really fully opened up a little bit. Well, it's not really bleached, but... If it's the light pale, well, it's, it's lighter than the rest. Of, well, it's not really... I think it's dividing, never mind. See right there? It's like stretched out skin or some shit. It's just something that you should always be in concerned, alright? Um, I'm not worried about it, but definitely if it progresses, just lower the intensity on the light. Alright, and... The reason I'm picking up the intensity is because these guys look like they want more light, so uh, I close. I made them close up a little bit. Oh, another thing, I always monitor the temperature. This is where I usually keep it at, at 80-ish. <laughs> and then the little Kenya tree, the Kenya tree is always doing good. It's actually a real good indicator coral. If something's wrong, the little polyps are not fully extended. I mean, I'm not talking about the stock. I'm talking about the actual polyp on the stock. Um, if there's something wrong, the polyp will be closed up. The The stock will still be elongated, but it won't. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. If you have a candy tree, you know what's up. Um, and then there's a little... Uh, the anemone's in there, you just can't see it. It's under the rock. <laughs> Ever since I threw sand on top of him, he went under a rock, so my bad. Anyways, talking about the sand, that's the main subject. All right. Hold, hold up. All right, so if you look at the sand, starting to see signs of the little worms that I threw in there. See the little tubes that are starting to form? Let me show you real quick. All right, put the magnifier but you see the little tube that's either the worm or the actual tube or the tubes that they're making what do you call it tunnels but they make a little tube but uh, there's still no signs of them so besides that little tube shit right there or a tunnel that might be the worm itself because they are clear and they're a clearish white worm all right all right, so there's a better sign of the worm. You see how there's like a little tube and then it sticks out of the sand right at dead center. And yeah. anyway, that's the best I'm able to see right there. But like I said, I just got to let them do their thing and let them multiply and shit. But like I said, from now on, I'm not going to do gravel vac this sand bed because it's too small of a tank. And I don't have a siphon tube that could properly gravel vac it without taking out the whole sand. So I'm not going to gravel vac anymore. And I'm just going to 
start seeding it with more life. All right, so this tank's going to be a true life sand bed, but all of my other systems, they're not. I'm just going to siphon out all the other sand beds, but this one's going to be a display so you guys can see. You guys can do it on a larger scale, but in a small scale, it's still going to take a long time, and you guys just replicate what I'm doing in your shit, and you have an actual live sand bed because... I I've, I noticed a lot of misinformation, or a lot of people think they have a live sand bed, but their shit's all nasty as fuck. Um, you see me gravel vac the sand bed, and my tank goes clear immediately. That's how your sand's supposed to look. And when you have a live sand bed, it's supposed to stay like that. And this is our start, all right? So next up, I'm going to throw in another cleanup crew member in here. And guess what it is? It's to help stir shit up up here and fuck shit up. So I'll be right back. All right, so I ended up grabbing a uh, hermit craft from my other fish tank, and then it's time to acclimate them. So I'm gonna dump a little bit of water in there from my this tank, and then just grab him and throw him in there. Or I could probably just throw him in there, but might as well acclimate him a little bit, right? <laughs> All right, it took a while, but I finally found it—the turkey baser. All right. All right, so I just added a little bit because I'm just going to do a little partial water change. Not really a water change. Okay, this one looks like the salt water, I hope. <laughs> Be like, that's why your fucking sh your, uh, frog spawn don't look so hot. Nah. Honestly, last time the frog spawn was actually facing the other way. I know, I know, because I, I placed it the other way. He's not used to opening up. We're not used to looking at it opened up this way. Try that much or more? Let me see. Hold on, guys. I'm debating if that's how much water I want or more. What do you guys think? Alright, everybody. So I ended up pus putting a little bit more water and topped it off. Oh, shit. I forgot to throw in the hermit crab. Alright, so let's throw in the hermit crab. All right, so I'm just gonna grab Sammy and throw him in there. Bam. And already he's stirring up the top layer of the sand bed exactly how I wanted. You know what I mean? Alright. Alright, close up of Sammy in action. Look at that. I was going to throw two of them in there, but I didn't want them to kill each other because I'm not going to throw in any more shells. And so I just threw in one big one and let him do his job. See that? I just need one. And then I'm going to throw him back in the other tank. All right, guys. I don't really want a hermit in here. Oh, and at the same time, he'll help clean up the... Well, the snails do a good job, but clean up the sand around the area. Anyways, guys, we're all near the end of this video.
All right, so the main objective is get the sand top layer cleaned out with the hermit and then let the snails in the sand bed multiply or at least show signs because it will start making the tunnels outside of the sand bed. And I just want to document that for you guys so you guys can see what worms I'm talking about. I do know the name. Um, the owner of Pet Shop Santa Cruz told me the name, but I'm going to do that secret. Let me know if you guys know what worms I'm talking about. All right, guys. Um, I saw tra you saw traces of them and everything, and I'll show you again real quick before we end this video. All right. Now remember, right here in the center, you kind of see a tunnel or a burrow, or possibly even the worm itself. You see what I mean? There's signs of different worms since I threw them in there. And like I said, from now on, there's not going to be a water change in here. I might stir up that little darker area, but that's algae that's grown in there because of the light. But, yeah, guys, it's pretty much the end of the video. And like I said, tune in. Like I said, I'm not going to mention this during my lives about the live sand bed, all right? Temperature. But everything looks d doing pretty good. You know what? I wasn't going to test the alkalinity, but I'll do that with you guys right now. Alright everybody, so I did a test ahead of time, we're at 7.1, so we're like at natural sea level. That's probably around 120 parts per million, and honestly guys, I'm gonna I'm a buy the parts per million Hannah Checker Alkalinity, uh, the, the, I think they use it for fresh water. I fucking, uh, I don't like the DKH, honestly, because I don't like converting and shit, I, and DKH... Are really off are off for all the pendejos because in reality in scientific terms we use parts per million um, so I'm gonna buy the parts per million Hannah checker but um, well all my pendejos that use DKH please stand up please stand up um, but honestly DKH is not a scientific uh, unit guys uh, I'm just letting you guys know so I'm gonna buy the parts per million oh if you guys don't believe me uh, when I when I get the parts per million one, we're, we're we're gonna go look at a video that I saw and just show you guys that I'm not bullshitting you. But anyways, uh, we're at seven point one, so we're gonna adjust it and then we're gonna retest. All right, guys. So I got my alkalinity solution, and since I measured and I know the calculations, ten milliliters will raise the alkalinity of uh ro water or freshly made salt water with no anything that's at zero or three alkalinity let's say i'll raise it six units for every 10 milliliters per gallon all right so if i add 20 20 milliliters i overdid it if i added 10 milliliters i overdid it so my goal is to just add a two and since the little pipette that I got in here is two milliliters, I'm gonna add a uh, a pipette's worth. All right. So that would that would cut me off a fifth. So from seven, I'm expecting to go from seven to like eight, maybe a nine with two milliliters. All right. So we'll see if it happens. All right. Only one way to find out. I gotta grab actually two, not one and a half. Uh, it's kind of hard to grab two guys, but fuck it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them slowly. I'm dripping it slowly. But you see how there's no reaction really with the. Uh, with the water, so I'm not really doing, forming a reaction with my calcium, magnesium, strontium, and all that bullshit. It all because it depends on what's your alkalinity solution. Alright, so you saw that, guys? Now, before I put some more in, we're going to retest, alright? 
But really, I would just add that much and then just call it a day. I wouldn't add any more. But um, let's retest. Oh, yeah, guys, before I test, I forgot. I did a calculation wrong. Um, I had to throw 10 milliliters for every gallon to raise it uh, s uh, three units or whatever, or six units or whatever, or every three, nah, some shit like that. Uh, so I threw in uh, 10 milliliters in total because I have a two gallon system. So instead of throwing five mils, I, I threw in 10 mils of this shit, of my alkalinity solution, and then we're gonna test right now, all right? Just a minor correction. I just did 10 milliliters, all right? Oh yeah, so when I make the alkalinity solution, I add 50 milliliters for 5 gallons of water. Alright guys, so that equals 10 milliliters per gallon, so I would add 20 milliliters in a 2 gallon system. But I'm not going to add 20 milliliters, so I added, so I added a 10, half of it. Alright, a half dosage of what I normally use. Alright guys, I thought it was only fair, so I thought we'd do this together. So I'm at the C2 part, and I, I just want to see what it is with you guys. Like I said, I'm shooting for an 8 and 9. Uh, we're at 7.7. .7. So I'm just going to add a little bit more and call it a day. Hey, co-reefing, if you're watching this, bro. You see how this frog spawn's tentacles are behaving, bro? That's how you, the tentacles on your CN enemies look like to me. And normally it's because of, of a low alkalinity. Not me. Um, I'm just letting, letting you guys see what I see. Anyways, let me, uh, anyway, so I threw in the 10 milliliters and I'm actually cleaning the fucking glass shit. Um, I'll be right back. Alright guys, moment of truth. Let's press the button. And already co-reefing, I can already tell my uh, frog spawn, the tentacles are doing a lot better, bro. Alright, so we're at 8.8. .8. That's exactly where I want to be. Mid 8 to 9. nine. I like to be 8.5, 9.5. I'm like at 8.8. .8. That's exactly where I want to be. So a full dosage. Like I said, just add 10 milliliters for every gallon, and you should be good. I added half the dosage because I thought I didn't need that much, but I just went the normal dosage, like how I usually add to my, uh, when I mix salt, I always add 10 milliliters per gallon. Um, uh, so, and when I mix 5 gallons, it's uh, 50 milliliters, so like this cap full. But since it's a two gallon tank, I only had to put 20, so it's whatever. Uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. And like, see, already I can already tell this guy looks pretty good. Um, the Rosses are opening up. <laughs> I kind of fuck with them right now, but definitely a, everything looks a lot better already. But anyways, guys, um, I'll let you guys go, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for joining me. And I appreciate you guys. Oh, let me fix the light fixture. And it's time to, for me to go. And like I said, I'm going to try to do these pre-recorded videos for you guys. And maybe next time I'll do the fresh water shit, but not really. Um, anyways, guys, I'll let you guys go. I'm just going to clean up and I'm out of here. Alright, see ya. All right, guys. I want to give you guys some next thoughts. Um, ever since I just fixed the alkalinities um, and the pH of my water, if you look at the the cyano that was on there, it's starting to like decrease already, just chemically alone, just by balancing the tank chemically. And then the little hermit crab right there. I mean, it's just annihilating. Uh, not really eating it, but just preventing it from being on the sand bed. See that? Already my sand bed is looking better. But I want to share you guys with that. And then as you see my little frog spawn, tentacles are already starting to come out now. 
so just give it a, a few hours and you should be good um kenya tree still looks good like that's what i mean the kenya usually the soft corals they don't really display a lot of shit unless it's some real imbalanced shit and then followed by the lps i don't have any uh, monties in this tank but uh the monties would have told me a long time ago about the alkalinity <laughs> Uh, I just noticed it because of this guy. See what I mean, guys? You guys got to always know details. Um, know, know what to look for. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's my final closing remarks. And we're out, guys. And like I said, um, the sand bed. Now it's a real live sand bed. Not fully live, but it's, 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 it's partially live. It's seated. You know what I mean? So... Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys next time. Next time you're on the live, you guys are going to see what the fuck's the hermit crab doing in there, but unless you saw these uh, videos, this series, you ain't going to know, all right? Because I'm not going to mention it on my lives, all right? Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, make sure you subscribe, motherfucker, if you want to see this shit, because you might forget the name and all that shit, but you'll see me everywhere. I talk a lot of shit. Um... If you're in the Rasa community, hey, I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, but in the in the reefing community, you'll, you'll definitely fucking see me around. Well, you'll see me around in both communities. But I'm merging both communities. I'm trying to bring Rasa into the aquarium hobby because there's a, a lot of money to be made. And you know what I mean? We got to search for new opportunities everywhere. So anyways, guys, uh, share, like, and subscribe. Um, share this to your mama, your daddy, and your bald-headed granny. All right, see you guys. Sammy's on the run. All right, see you guys. <laughs> Touchdown. Sammy made it to the other side. Alright, guys. It's beautiful.